Hi guys, so a bit of a fun tutorial today. I don't expect any of you to sport this in everyday life, although if you do want to wear this just walking down the street, I would probably want to be your best mate and would have a lot of respect for you. It's not going to be an exact replica because I was going off just pictures I found on Google Image, but I'm, I've tried my best and I hope you really enjoy it. Let's get going. So first up, create an even base. I used my normal anti-blemish foundation by Clinique, but applied it far thicker than usual. We can cake it on because this is a fancy dress look rather than an everyday makeup look. Next up for some exaggerated contouring using my Collection Blush and Glow palette. Jareth has amazing cheekbones so we need to carve those out as well as chiselling that jaw. I'm either concentrating really hard or I'm extremely cross here. We're not going for a subtle highlight, it's okay to see those glittery pigments and to make the cheeks almost look like they're sparkly white. You need a really strong white shadow now, shimmery pigment is okay here too. I use my number 7 palette to cover the lid but also way up to the eyebrows. The lids need to be a dark bluey silvery colour. I use my Naked Smoky palette by Urban Decay. I combine Slanted and Dagger together. Next it's the artistic bit, creating the King of Goblin City sexy evil eyebrow game. I used a black eyeshadow with a detailed brush. I flicked up my new brow at the point where my natural brow arches. I always find it a tad tricky to repeat exactly the same on the other side, so my new brows don't match perfectly, but I think that's okay. Is it? Please? I use the black shade to shade it further down either side of the bridge of my nose. Using the same shadow again, I created these curves coming out of the side of my eyes. With the residue of black still on my brush, I just darken the crease of my lid. I then did some extreme nose contouring using the black rather than the everyday brown hue we're always taught to use. Jarrah's lips are shiny with an orangey tinge, so I used Chanel's Glossomer shade 127. I use the highlighter to draw attention to the centre of my nose. David, aka Jareth's, is very sharp and slim. Try and cover up your original brows with some concealer and fill in with the white eyeshadow you used before. I opted for blue mascara to give it that fantasy appeal. I didn't go in hard because his lashes weren't exactly femininely long and thick. I wasn't planning on recreating his hair because his style in the film was a wig so it's probably going to be extremely difficult. I just wanted an essence of the style. I back combed, which I don't like to do often because it's a right nightmare to get out the tangles. I then added a volumising hairspray, he has some great root lift going on. You want to create defined strands. I tried to do it using some mousse, however it's far easier using my fella's hair paste wax type product. 
twisting the hair helps them stay in that separated style. I thought I was done, but it needed some neatening up as well as some extra drama. I decided to go back in on the black areas with a felt liner. Great for accuracy and making it more bold. If you want to go even further, make sure you've got some grey leggings and a sock. Congrats, you completed the labyrinth. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a like if you think I did okay or if you love Labyrinth or David. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. You remind me of the babe.